Hi, boys and girls. Today we are in our science book and we are starting our plants and the environment. Go ahead and turn to page 249 and we'll get started. It says, what do the roots at the bottom of this plant do for the plant? So after the lesson, be sure to go back to page 249 and fill in that answer. Get to the bottom of it. Plants come in many shapes and sizes. Did you know that an important part of most plants is hidden underground? Plants are made up of different parts. Each part has a function that helps the plant grow and survive. The part of the carrot plant that we eat is its root. Roots hold plants in the ground. Roots also take in or absorb water and nutrients from the soil. Nutrients are materials that living things such as plants need to grow. Some roots are long and can reach water deep under the ground. Some roots have many small hairy branches that spread out just under the soil to get water from a large area. Water and nutrients move from the roots to other parts of the plant. It says here a plant's root absorb water and nutrients from the soil. And you can see here the arrow is going up to the carrot. And here we have a pansy and grass. Go ahead and take a few minutes and look at the pictures of roots on this page. Fill in the table to compare and contrast the roots. How are they alike and how are they different? Reach for the sky. What happens to water and nutrients after they enter the roots? How do they get to the rest of the plant? Water and nutrients move from the roots to the stem. The stem is the part of the plant that helps the plant stand tall and strong. It holds up the part of the plant that is above ground. A stem also carries water and nutrients from the roots to other parts of the plant. The woody stems of most trees are big and thick. The stems of flowers are often soft and thin. Some plants have one main stem, but others have many. You can see here, a plant's stem carries water and nutrients from the roots to the rest of the plant. You can see here an oak tree, a yellow daisy, and a passion vine. Okay. Now go ahead and take a few minutes to complete the task on the bottom. Use the data to create a bar graph to compare the lengths of different plant stems. We have a dogwood tree, bamboo, broccoli, and saw palmetto. Plant food. Water and nutrients keep a plant healthy, but a plant still needs food to survive. Luckily, a plant doesn't need to go anywhere to get its food. Unlike animals, most plants can make their own food. This important process takes place in leaves. Leaves use water, air, and light energy from the sun to make food. The food is then transported from the leaves through the plant's stems to other parts of the plant. Plants use most of this food energy to live and grow. The rest of the food is stored. It says here, leaves use water, air and sunlight to make food. Food made in leaves is transported to the rest of the plant. Leaves are many different sizes and shapes. Look at the picture of the sunflower plant. Its leaves are big and wide. Big wide leaves can catch more sunlight. This helps the plant make more food. We have a sunflower here a bush, and a palm tree. Draw a plant growing in soil. Draw different colored arrows to show how water, nutrients, and food move in different directions through the plant. The cycle of life. The tallest tree in the world was once small enough to fit in your hand. Like you, plants start out small and grow bigger. The blossoms on apple trees and other plants are called flowers. A flower is the plant part that helps some plants reproduce. When living things reproduce, they make new living things like themselves. First, flowers grow into fruit. 
After the fruit ripens, it falls to the ground. The fruit contains seeds. A seed has a small plant inside of it. A seed also has food for the small plant. Then sunlight, soil, water, and air help the seeds sprout into seedlings and grow. The seedlings grow into adult plants. The life cycle continues as the adult plants produce more flowers and seeds. Here you can see the seeds, seedling, and then we have our blossoms. Take a look over here at cone seeds. Not all plants have flowers. Some have cones. Like a flower, a cone is used in reproduction, but cones do not turn into fruit. A cone opens to release its seeds. Write the steps in the life cycle of a plant that grows from a cone seed. The first step, cone, is given. 